Hey there, this is John from Platform SH, and today we're going to talk about Composer and Continuous Integration. So if you're watching this video, you're probably already aware of what Composer is. It's a PHP package manager that makes it simple to distribute and install and maintain third-party PHP libraries in your application. The flip side, though, is that it can introduce some complexity for applications that are hosted on platforms that aren't built with Composer in mind. So closely related to Composer are tools like Grunt and Gulp that help with your application's front-end build process. So whether it's Grunt or Gulp or Composer, ideally you're not just committing your post-build production artifact to Git and deploying that, but just committing the pieces you and your team need for development. So tools like Jenkins and CircleCI have sprung up in this build pipeline space to help with that middle layer in between git commit and deploy. And it's this layer that's often referred to as continuous integration. Platform SH comes with this layer built right in, so you don't have to integrate with any external services to get started with Composer or continuous integration. And that's what we're going to talk about in this video. So you can see what I've got here is I've already created a couple of branches, so we're just going to kind of simulate a sprint where the boss has decided it's time to get on board with continuous integration. Our project has grown, and so we need to start making it a little bit easier to support uh, some of these external build tools like Gulp. So um, I've already checked out a feature branch here. We're going to call this one, we've called this one Feature Composer, and you can see over here in my project admin, I've already got this set up. So this has its very own URL, just like every single Git branch in your project at Platform SH. So here is my local version of this thing. And so the very first thing we need to do, of course, is it Composer install something. So we are going to go over to GitHub and we're going to hop into Platform SH. And this is one of my favorite projects here. This is our config reader. This gets absolutely no attention and I'm not sure why because this makes it super easy to integrate any PHP project with the config variables that we set up for you here at Platform SH. So I'm going to show you what that means right now. So I'm just going to Composer require this library and it's not going to take very long to run. Yes, I know I'm running with Xdebug. Okay, cool. So we've installed this lib now. And now we can use it. So let's hop over into here. And this is our main PHP file. So this is a very simple project. So we're going to reload and just make sure nothing explodes. So we've included the auto loader correctly. We've loaded the config up. So I'm just going to snap my fingers here. Okay, cool. So we have just added a little piece of little snippet here. This just says if uh, basically if this config object if the method saying is available returns true, then that means we are definitely being hosted on Platform SH, else we are not being served from Platform SH. So let's see what we get here locally is this project not being served from Platform SH. So that makes sense because this is localhost. So we've got two new files here, composer.json and composer.lock, and we've obviously modified our index.php. So we're going to take a look at the git ignore. And we've added vendor to git ignore, so that's why it's not showing up here. So that is best practice. So we're going to add this, and we're going to commit this. Uh, let's see, adding composer stuff. But we got one more step to do before this thing will fly on platform SH. So we're going to hop in here to our platform app YAML, and let me just show you real quick. So we have a shortcut for composer-based projects. This little snippet here is all you need to give us to tell us, hey, look for a composer JSON or composer lock file and build this vendor directory from what you find there. So uh, we're going to uncomment that line there. And now we're going to add this again. And we're going to commit. Um, let's see, adding build flavor course uh, composer. And so now we are going to git push this to our feature composer branch at Platform SH. Cool. And so this has built. Let's go hop over here to our feature composer branch and let's check it out. If we are the developer who has been assigned the project to get this thing going with Composer for this sprint, then we can go to lunch now uh, and take our laptop with us so it looks like we're busy working remotely. So, uh, let's pretend now we are going to check back out staging, which is kind of our, our base branch here, and let's have another look at what branches we've got. 
So now let's pretend we're the gulp developer. This, this developer has a little bit more work to do. So checking out our brand new gulp file. This is just a really simple, basic gulp file. The first one I've ever written, actually. And so we have gotten rid of the CSS directory that used to live in public. And we have converted everything into SAS and stuck it in this assets directory here. So every time something changes over there in SAS, we need to make sure we build that public CSS directory. Uh, let's hop over to our local host example, and this is probably going to look broken indeed. So we're going to run gulp watch, and this is just gonna watch our CSS files. Oh, NPM, not installed. So gulp is not installed, so what do we need to do? Um, well, we've already kind of done the work here in this platform app YAML, and this is what's going to happen. So you can see we're working with Yarn for this particular one and not NPM. So when this thing gets pushed, we are going to go through two build steps uh, to Yarn install all of the local NPM packages and then run Gulp. So why don't we just run platform build locally? This is a platform CLI command. And so this is going to install up here in our dependencies section. We've got, we're requiring Yarn and the Gulp CLI and SAS. So this is going to make sure all of these things are installed on your platform SH project so that when it gets down to the build hook, the build hook doesn't say, what is Yarn? You need to install that. So we are installing this locally right now, fetching all those NPM packages and building all of the requisite directories. You can see here's node modules. Uh, we've got our vendor still because we ignored that, so it's not paying any attention. And so now it's downloading all of the stuff that Yarn has told it it requires, and then it just ran through the gulp file. So we should have indeed not just our blog CSS, but our minified or our gzip blog CSS. So let's have a look at this now. Beautiful. So let's simulate. Uh, actually, let's just let's let's see. Get status where we're at. So this is clean. So let's run gulp watch and actually make a change here. And we're going to kind of simulate the a change that we've made in a previous demo where we changed the sidebar from gray to this blue here. And so cool, we're happy with that blue. So we know that everything is working. So we're going to git add and we're going to git commit. Gulp-based build process. And we are going to push uh, excuse me, to our origin and our feature gulp. And so this is going to run through basically all the build steps that we just ran through here locally. And so now we have just fetched all of those different dependencies. Okay, cool. So let's just hop here into our gulp environment. And we got our blue sidebar. So that whole SAS process went through. Here's our feature gulp branch, totally isolated from our feature composer branch. So I wonder how these two things integrate together. So let's go ahead and start moving them upstream. So we're going to say platform merge this branch with its parent staging. Yes, I would like to do that. So the slug has already been built for this tree ID. We've already been through the process of building the production artifact for this particular application. So we're not going to build it again. We're not gonna run NPM install anything. We're just going to use the exact same built application that we used from the last one. So let's have a look at our staging environment. This should look exactly indeed the way that we expect. So I'm going to get check out locally my feature composer branch and we are going to platform merge this one as well. Are you sure you want to merge feature? So yes, yes I am sure. Okay, so there were several different commits here. None of them conflict with each other. So we are going to go ahead and merge those two things together. So this is fetching all of these dependencies. It's building my, it's building all the CSS and it's re redeploying this thing. So we're gonna have a look here It's staging and this should have both of our features merged. Yay, congrats, this is a project hosted on Platform SH. So congratulations, within a span of about 10 minutes altogether, although it, I've never used Gulp before, so it took me about an hour to figure out what was going on over there. Um, but uh, any of these sort of third-party build process libs, you no longer need to integrate with an external provider to do that. Uh, we'll take care of all of that stuff for you. It's our goal here really at Platform SH to make this as simple as possible for you to use modern tools and to not have to subscribe to somebody else in order to do it. So uh, this is our staging branch. 
you know, this will be ready to go after we get done with the rest of this. Uh, anyone else who's involved in this sprint uh, can pull the work that's been committed here to staging and take advantage of these uh, new continuous integration features that we've just merged into staging to get ready to go. So thank you very much, and uh, we will talk to you next time.